Hi, and welcome to the third video about special relativity. In this section, we will talk about the first postulate of special relativity. And there are two postulates concerning special relativity. First, the laws by which the states of physical systems undergo change are not affected. Whether these changes of state be referred to the one or the other of two systems of coordinates in uniform translatory motion. Second, any ray of light moves in a stationary system of coordinates with the determined velocity, c, whether the ray be emitted by a stationary or by a moving body. Or specifically pointed out, all reference frames used here are inertial, meaning that they are either at rest or in uniform motion. There are three sections for the two postulates. As there are many things to go over, we will be splitting the content of three different videos. The first postulate, which will be covered in this video, the second postulate, and finally, the cause of the self-contradiction. Here would be the first postulate. The laws by which the states of physical systems undergo change are not affected. Whether these changes of state be referred to the one or the other of two systems of coordinates in uniform translatory motion. Some questions that we may come up with are, does this claim have any supporting evidence? Can we represent this claim in mathematical form? And which physical laws related to reference frames? For an example, let's consider the case of an apple falling from a tree. To a person under the tree, the apple is falling straight downward. To a passenger on a train passing by, the apple is falling in a curve. Now, let's analyze our traces with the first postulate. Question number one. The two different traces of the apple seem to contradict the first postulate. How do we explain it? Well, the answer could be that maybe the first postulate is not about the motion itself. Well, a follow-up question would be, if it is not about motion, then what are the reference frames for? The answer to that would be maybe we can try the acceleration. Through a calculation, the two observers get exactly the same number. So the first postulate is not about the motion itself, but about the cause behind the motion. Well, in which physical law does the acceleration appear? In Newton's second law of motion. What is Newton's second law of motion? Newton's second law of motion has all the necessary properties to verify the first postulate. It is a physical law, it has a mathematical representation, and it uses acceleration, thus is linked to reference frames. All we have to do now is to prove that it really supports the first postulate. Here are the settings for the verification scenario. In one reference frame, an experiment about Newton's second law of motion is undergoing. What we have to prove is that when observed, from two different reference frames, the formula F equals M8 works the same way. Since both reference frames are virtual, they have no effect on F and M, so we only have to prove that the acceleration in both reference frames are the same. We will have a section dedicated to the discussion about the mass later, so we can ignore that for now. Here is a verification process. In reference frame A, the acceleration is AV is equal to DVA over dt. In reference frame b, the acceleration is ab is equal to dvb over dt, which will be equal to the rest of the equation. So here, vab is the reference frame a's speed relative to b. Because both reference frames are inertial, velocity ab does not change with time, so its change rate with time is zero. Thus, we have proved that the acceleration from both a and b are really the same. What is our conclusion from the verification? In the above verification, we use the normal velocity transformation formula. This is a concept of relative motion in its mathematical form. So a hidden assumption behind the first postulate is all objects follow the rule of relative motion. So as a summary, we just brought the hidden assumptions of the first postulate to the front. So now the first postulate becomes 1. Physical laws behave the same in all inertial reference frames, and 2. All objects follow the rules of relative motion. Following will be the references that we have used for this video.